Hi everyone! In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a curtain and then animate it using Cloth Modifier. First, we choose one of the windows that you want to give curtain to and then hide the rest. And then create a plane with the size a little bit bigger than the window. And then hide the window. Change the segment number. Be careful that you don't give too much segment. Next, create a cylinder on top of the plane. Make it a little bit longer than the top part of the plane. Now select the cylinder. Turn on Auto key. Move the time slider up to 15. Reduce the height to be the same as our window. And then move back the time slider. Turn off the Auto key. Now your cylinder is animated. Okay. Next we go to Close Modifier. Go to Object Properties, Add Objects, change the plane to Cloth, choose Cotton, and turn the cylinder to be the collation object that will hold the curtain. Then OK. Go to Cloth, choose Group, zoom this part. Choose some of the vertex. This vertex will stick to the cylinder while the rest will fall down according to the gravity. OK, then make group. Then we attach it to the cylinder using surface. You can see here that the cylinder hasn't been assigned yet. Now with the surface on, click the cylinder. Now the group assigned to the cylinder. Click outside the plane and then close the cloth. When simulating the curtain, we can change the time frame so we don't have to animate to 120, but just enough so the curtain is formed well. The keyframe for the cylinder end on 15, so we change the end frame to 25. OK, pick the plane again, then simulate. Now turn these two objects to editable mesh. And this will be the start of the next curtain. The first alternative is by repeating our previous method. Turn on Auto key, move the time slider, move the vertex, turn off Auto key, Then change the object properties. Add object. Go to group. Select all of the top part of the curtain. Make group. Move down the cylinder a little bit. Change the star frame to 0 and the end frame to 30. Then simulate.
first copy the cylinder. Move the time frame to 70. Turn on auto key. Change the vertex so the animation is between 50 to 70. Okay. Back to cloth. Go to object properties. Don't forget to click the outside part of the plane before choosing the next group. Change the start frame to 50 and the end frame to 80. Now we simulate. I'm still not satisfied with this result, so I'm going to erase the previous simulation, then change the gravity to minus 1700. Then simulate it again. Good enough, I think. Now create key. So this curtain become an animation object. Be sure that you don't want to change anything anymore because this is irreversible. Now we can remove the cylinder and you can replace it with a ribbon or something. And then place the curtain to your building. The result will be something like this. Good luck!